Hi friends, today I'm finally going to start rebuilding my Volvo 340 engine and I'm going to start by doing my cylinder head which I just picked up last week after it has been resurfaced and I'm going to start by replacing the valve seals. Of course, before I replace my valve seals I gotta clean this cylinder head because it looks absolutely disgusting just like the rest of the engine. I'm not going to spend too much time on it but I just want it to look all nice and clean since I repainted the engine last week for those of you that haven't watched my previous video. That looks pretty decent I think. So now let's try it off and then go straight to replacing the valve seals. Okay, I've used this lashing strap to secure the cylinder head to the table. It does move a little bit, but I think it's steady enough to use this valve spring compressor tool. All right, it's kind of hard to film in this corner, but I'm going to try to show you everything I do. Right now, I'm just using this tool to press in the valve so I can remove the collet and then the valve itself. Okay, wait a sec, I need a magnet. So, there's the first valve. I also make sure to store everything in the right order, so I can put everything back in the place where it came from. Oh, and as you can see, there's only a seal on the inlet valve and not on the outlet valve. But I'm still removing both because I want to grind in the valves a bit. That one was really stuck. All right, now let's turn the cylinder head so we can remove the valves on the other side. Oh, and I'm taking these out as well so they don't fall when I flip the cylinder head over to grind the valves. You know, I think it's funny how my very first YouTube video was also a video of me replacing valve seals on a Volvo cylinder head. But that video kind of sucked. But um, <laughs> I'm redoing it now. Found it. Gotta stop dropping on the ground. That's it. Okay, so next I'm going to remove the seals and then I'm going to grind the valves. Those come off so easily. Can I reach this one? Yes, I can. Okay, so these are the old seals and these are the new ones. All right, now I'm going to grind in the valves because that's the part I dislike the most. So let's get it over with first. Okay, so before I can grind in the valves, I gotta sand the surface a bit because there's so much stuff on there. And this won't stick when they're nasty. So I'm going to sand them all just a little bit so I can grind them afterwards. I didn't want to bore you all to death by showing you a video of me sanding 
eight valves by hand. But uh, yeah, I did it off camera. So now I'm going to grind them. I'm putting some paste on the surface where it touches the cylinder head itself. And I'm going to grind them as well by hand. This looks pretty good compared to this one I haven't done yet. I'm finally done grinding the valve, so now we can put everything back together. I'm going to start by putting the new seals in place. Now on to the last step, because I'm going to put the valves back in place. You know, normally I attach these collets to a non-magnetic screwdriver with some Vaseline to put them in place. But since I can reach them with my hands right now, I'm just doing it like this and then using the screwdriver to adjust them a bit. If needed. All the valves are back in, so that's it for the cylinder head. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!